video three, although I did do one and then delete it immediately in shame. <laughs> um, but the third video, I just realized all my tabs are still on display. So I got a little red out action up here uh, if you want to analyze it. This is me trying to switch to, from Verizon to Google Fi. Super frustrating, don't want to think about it. Productivity tools, work that I'm doing. Actually, it's actually a USF talk that I'm giving, so I'll be talking under ads. Uh, a double email because I shut down my computer like an idiot. I, these might be duplicates, actually. Yeah, all these are duplicates. And, and then we got a Google Data Visual Studio. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Our soccer. Worst place on the internet. And uh, Conte, thinking about switching up his formation. Webmaster Tools, my blog. And then uh, some e-commerce article I was looking at. So super interesting stuff. Hopefully that took less than 30 seconds. Okay, so something really cool that I don't think enough people use, maybe because I don't know enough, like, number four hitters in Google Analytics, but check this out. So we're looking at like AdWords and we're like, oh my God, this report is so amazing. Like, look at all the cool things you can see. Uh, we didn't even drill down on these. But the cool thing about Google Analytics as it's evolved, and you know, I'll just kind of poke around, is that all of these things, here are six reports with derivatives. Here are, oh my gosh, I don't even know, at least 10 reports. Probably more than that, probably like 20 with derivatives. Here are so many, so many. Um, and let's not even get into conversions and stuff. Um, the cool thing is, is that you can look, um, I guess it's kind of like, a, it's like dropping down like a framework on top of um, all of these reports and dropping down a segment for all you marketers out there. So, um, we can look at two things at one time, and we're gonna look at organic traffic and paid Google. And these are actually my own custom segments, so paid paid goal six is actually a client's. Uh, paid Google is just my own, and I think organic traffic isn't everybody's. Um, paid traffic isn't everybody's as well. Paid Google might not be. Anyway, I'll fly. So you can apply these segments and uh, produce any report, and this is the AdWords report as well. So it's not interesting because there's no organic traffic through AdWords because that is not an organic uh, channel. But we can see source medium. And we're gonna see like the number of sessions versus revenue from each of these channels. And you'll see that paid Google's dark orange and light orange. So C CPC paid media down the bottom. You can see it's generating a little bit uh, for some reason on this day. They made twenty thousand dollars on eight hundred sessions. That seems fishy to me. If this was my site, I'd look into that. Um, but it's really cool. So not only is this great because you can apply um, sources and mediums, which is what we're doing right now. It's really basic stuff. Uh, and I'll see if I can find um, one of my clients that is actually interesting. Do, do, do. I wish I had waiting music right now. This is for Will Reynolds. Will Reynolds, if you're out there watching this, you're an idol. I really like what you do. That was for you. And thank you for leaving the comment on my blog. Super nice. Okay, so PDF referrals. So this is interesting. So this was a, a guide that we created uh, where people would come from Facebook, download the guide, and then we would send it to them. And it, we realized really quickly is that people would download the guide and they would click the links, but they would show up as direct. So we added it in this referral so that when people came back to the site, we would see the referral that we had tagged that link with. Uh, and we could actually like drill down on what behavior they, um, like what behavior they had on our site after they clicked through it. So it was very nice to like know that we had a lead and then what behavior they actually perpetuated on our site afterwards. So you can narrow it in like that. Uh, and you can apply these in so many ways, like we could create a new segment and I'd love to do drill down deeper on this uh, and do things like, um, you know, like new versus returning visitors. Basically any dimension, any metric you want to use here, 
you can totally do that. Sorry for scrolling down. So people who bought a certain product, people who paid shipping versus didn't pay shipping, people who bought more than one, you can drill down and then segment all of these reports. So audience, technology, browser and OS. Move this from your view. Organic and paid, look how different they are. Um, look at mobile versus not mobile all of these crazy things. You can look at conversions versus not conversions and really apply these. Um, and there's some really cool stuff. You know, I was working with a public university and what we found is that uh, people who read, I think it was 10 or 12 or more pages, uh, converted at a rate that was three times the normal rate. So it wasn't just about getting people to view more pages, it was specific pages or to go from one to the next or to, to come back if they had quote-unquote abandoned so um, you can apply this in all sorts of ways I think it's super interesting would love to hear how people are actually using these segments in a more creative way than I am too